G'day YouTube, it is VBlaze here from Seismic FPS and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be doing another Forge video in Halo 5 and this one I'm going to be making a watchtower. So first things first, you want to be grabbing these columns and putting them into position. I've just shown you how to, where the columns are located. Um, I think it's, I can't remember exactly where it was from, but yeah, it's in the menu just there. If you want to go back and watch it, you can. And it's just, I've placed four down, roughly even, grabbed all four, moved them into position, and now checking to see if they're all right. One is out, so I need to work out how to make that fine. So I'm going to, so I'll try and move this into position. Anyway, so I find out that the bottom one's just out of position, so I'm going to the bottom one. So make sure they're both leveled the other way. And yeah, so once you get the all four level and in good position, you're all good to go for the rest of it. So the next step after the columns are in place is to place down a floor foundation on top of them. Now to do this, you want to go to walls, detailed, and then select the wall you're after. I will be using, I think, 2 by 24 by 24 so it's a fairly even sort of wall and you want to be rotating it so that it's flat I think I'd delete this one because it's easier to once you work out which way you need to be pulling it just want to pull it in that direction and then that is it so I'll pull this one and try and get as close to 90 as you can and it does throw off one of the other ones but that's alright it's not too far 0.23 is not going to be too noticeable as far as making a complete and a flat surface so then you just want to copy and paste the wall connect it move it into a good position copy and paste again and then move this one into a good position and you just want to pretty much get your surface down pat and then you want to select all of them you can group them if you wish so once they're all selected then you just duplicate the whole lot at once and voila there's your top of your base done. Although I might, I don't know if I'm going to extend it any more than I have. Yeah, I'm going to. Alright, so once you've pretty much extended it to where you want it to extend to, you're all sweet. Just want to make it fairly even around the whole thing. Doesn't matter if it's not quite even, it's all good. So the next step is to go ahead and place a structure. Sorry, yeah, structure slopes and then choose stairs and you just want to be choosing the stair you want so once you've got the stair you want you just want to place that down to roughly in the position you want to place it copy it um, so duplicate it move that into position duplicate it again move it into position copy, copy the whole lot just so it's quicker and then move all them into position and then we're going to be making a um, sort of building block area for the next lot of stairs to go from. Now to do this you want to use walls and again detailed design, just grabbing a sort of small area, copy and pasting it so just so that it covers the area, make sure it's nice and even with the, ramp, with the stairs if you can. If not, you got to muck around until you do get it even. Sometimes it can be fairly difficult. But yeah, that's pretty much the idea. You just want to get a, the right thing for there. As you can see, I did a little bit of mucking around before I got the right one. But that's how it works. So then once you've got that, you've got to... I'd prefer to face the direction you want to and select the same stair again. It might take a little bit to pick out the dead right one. You can always go back and check. But yeah, that's what you want to do. So you're facing in the same direction, you just copy and paste it again and do the same sort of steps you did before. And then you want to copy and paste, so you want to grab every single bit of your first block, duplicate that and then move that as your second building base. So you're not stuffing around trying to rotate objects again and whatnot. Makes it very, very simple. So, yeah, so then you use that again for the stairs. So you're copy and pasting the stairs, sorry, you're placing the stairs down again, not copy and pasting, just so you're facing the same direction again. 
The search would already be there because that was the last object you would have placed. As you can see, I didn't get it perfect the first time, so I've gone back and fixed up some stuff as I've gone along, just to make it all look a bit even and nice, and yeah, just respectable. If you don't make any mistakes, you won't have to do that, but I'm sure you probably will, and yeah, so just fixing up on the fly is something you might want to get used to. So once you've got your stairs all the way up to the top, you want to be building the connection onto your platform you've already got there. You might be lucky enough to end it straight onto the platform, but yeah, I'm not that lucky. I'm actually fairly lucky in the fact that I've ended it right on the same level. If you end it just above, it's okay. You can always just use a ramp to connect it across. I was just lucky enough to end it on exactly the same level and yeah, it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, so just building that across was fairly easy for me to do. I mean, it might be even easier for you if you do it, you could even do a better job, get it really close to being on top. So you have to do next to nothing. You can get a flush with the edge, but yeah, adding more to this end wasn't isn't too much of a hassle. But yeah, I found using the existing um, floor that you did at the very start was just easier than well looked a lot better than adding multiple little things along the edge, and also more smooth that way as well. So once you've got the floor done, you then want to move on to placing the uh, walls around the outside to box the top in to make it look like a bit like a watchtower. So you want to place your first wall down, copy and paste it so it covers the whole side, and then you can use all of those to, and then move them along to the opposite side, just so it makes it fairly easy. You just copy, paste, drag along to the other side and drop it. And then just extend that along to the edge. So it covers the whole edge like so. And then you want to delete the middle ones because that's where we're going to put our little head glitches and lookout positions in. Now you don't want to, if you only have one then it makes it a pretty OP spot. So if you're going to actually use this in maps, do what I'm doing here and delete sections out of it so you, that there's multiple areas to get hit from, not just if you pick this one area you might die sort of thing. It also makes the watch chat a bit more open. So as you can see here, I did not, I'm not going to be able to get all this flush. So it's because of that there's where you can move the position A and B up and down, it's just easier to use this as the base and delete everything else that I've already done and just replace them. Oh no, sorry, just move them all down by them, as you'll see what I'll do in a second anyway. So then once that's all done, you want to be looking at making your head glitches. Now for the cutouts or the head glitches as I call them, you want to be using a long piece, it's a long skinny wall, uh, detail wall like all the other stuff and just yeah, sticking along the edge of the thing. I stuff up and go try and use a small thing to start with, but you pretty much want to be using the, I think it's two by 16 by six, two by 16 by 16 maybe? No, sorry, two by 16 by four. So it's skinny and yeah, you can just put it straight there. That's actually fairly good as you'll see when you actually look out of it. It's a very nice thickness. Um, you want to copy and paste that and put that in all three positions. And if it doesn't quite fit, you can always just, you know, copy, paste, and drag along until it does fit in position and whatnot. And yeah, so you want to get all three of these, all of your cutouts covered with this. And then once that's done, you want to unselect all by pressing the left bumper. And you want to then, well, you first we're going to make sure everything's covered in, as I forgot all about. And then you just want to copy and paste all of the floor, like every single part of the floor that's there, and use that as your roof to complete the whole watchtower look. And that is it. So as you can see, the watchtower is now completed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it will inspire you to create your own watchtower. And if you do make a better one, then good job. 
but I think this thing is pretty neat and if you want to add it to your maps feel free that is how you do it and this is the end product here so I hope you guys did enjoy the video remember to leave a thumbs up comment and subscribe for just this content that we've actually managed to do here so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy the video it has been me the blazed laters